Hi everyone, as I promised in my previous video, 200mm f2 VR versus 300mm 2.8 VR is going down today. So there is going to be an amazing comparison in between these two legendary lenses of Nikon. First of all, I'd like to test their sharpness. To get a consistent result and to have more details, I decided to use lights with this shooting. This is how our setup looks. One light for the model, one light for the background. Weighing 6 pounds each, the weight of these lenses are the same. I was not able to tell the difference in terms of sharpness in between the two lenses. I think both of them are wide open tech sharp. Two hundred millimeters is short and fat. It is front heavy, and that makes it challenging to handhold it. Three hundred millimeters is more balanced, so this makes it easier to handhold. As you can also clearly see from the samples, I was not able to tell the bokeh difference in between the two lenses. Simply, with these lenses, backgrounds just melt away to nothing. 200mm f2 focuses down to 1.9 meters, whereas 300mm focuses down to 2.2 meters. So there's not much big difference in between the two. If you want to get a full body shot of a subject when you're shooting horizontally, you need to be approximately 20 meters away from your subject. Due to the difference in the focal length, 300 millimeters versus 200 millimeters, I needed to back up so much more in comparison. Well, roughly, I needed to back up like nine human steps in order to get the same frame, roughly the same frame as the 200 millimeters. So basically this means plus 100 millimeters is going to bring you roughly nine human steps closer to your subject. Focusing speed is on par. They are both fast and furious. When I was comparing the images in between 200 millimeters versus 300 millimeters, something caught my attention. The colors are rendered differently by both lenses. 200mm renders the skin tones better in comparison to 300mm. So, as this lens was produced as a portrait lens, and also for the indoor sports photography, I think that's the reason. 300mm gives more vibrant colors in comparison. Um, I think this is going to be very useful when you're shooting wildlife, nature, or landscapes you're going to get more vibrant colors in comparison to 200 millimeters, but the difference is not huge, but it's there. 200 millimeters F2 VR gets two times more light in comparison to 300 millimeters due to a wider aperture. So this means two times more shutter speed or two times less ISO. 200 millimeters, of course, in the second-hand market is relatively cheaper in comparison to 300 millimeters. So for a less price, you get a perfect indoor sports photography lens, plus you can use it in portraits and also in wildlife. And it works wonderfully with the teleconverters. So if you need the extra reach and better handholdable outdoor sports photography lens, plus you can use this wonderfully in wildlife or if you want to even in portrait photography, 300mm lens is also an amazing lens and it also works amazingly with the teleconverters. So, the choice is yours. Thanks for watching everyone. At the moment, I'm preparing a video about wildlife photography in Kruger National Park in South Africa. 
since I use very interesting photography setups in Kruger National Park, I think very interesting videos are on their way. So stay tuned. Subscribe, share and comment. Thank you for your support.